Welcome back friends now as requested by one of our esteemed subscribers today I'm going to do a, an introduction topic on matrices that is in class 12 syllabus mathematics both NBAC and CBAC as well so the first topic that we will be discussing is about actually what is a matrix as per the definition that goes, it states a matrix is nothing but a rectangular array arrangement of mn numbers, any, any number, in the form of m horizontal lines which are called rows and n vertical lines which are called columns. It's called a matrix of order m by n, written as an m by n matrix. Now such an array is enclosed by this bracket or sometimes we can even use this round brackets also and we should also note that we always denote a matrix with capital letters now let's discuss this with some examples because that is a definition so some of us may not understand clearly from the defi definition so for example like a matrix which should always be denoted by capital letters can be written in this bracket arranged in terms of certain horizontal lines and certain vertical lines so let's try to arrange one matrix that is like 3 5 minus 4 0 1 9 so now you can see that this is an arrangement rectangular arrangement of horizontal lines and vertical lines now these horizontal lines are called rows and these vertical lines will be called as columns so here this first row will be called as row one this one will be called this row will be called as row two and this column first column column one second column column two third column column three so here in this matrix we have like two rows and three columns so the order of this matrix will be defined by us two by three of course we name it as two by three so rows should always come first and then the columns so this is a matrix of order two by three let's take another example there is another example of matrix let's say some order like a b c d e f g h i j k l let's try to name this matrix so as we can see how many rows do we have here that is this row row one row two row 3 and how many columns do we have column 1 column 2 column 3 and column 4 so the order of this matrix will be 3 rows and 4 columns 3 by 4 columns now one interesting thing about matrix is depending on the number of rows and columns it will have the exact number of elements also like 2 by 3 so like 2 by 3 it will have 6 elements which is already proved here 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 in the next video sorry in the next problem also here we have like three four so we should have 12 elements which is correctly so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve so this is how we actually we will be naming a matrix now in general we will name a matrix with any capital letter as a i j of the order m by n which denotes like a i j actually denotes an element occurring in the ith row and jth column of a matrix A. Now with that said, I think the concept is slightly simple there, understood there. So let's try to prepare a general matrix, like a general matrix. If you just go on expanding, so like the first element will be like a11 that is like first row first column next a12 a13 first row third column first row fourth column first row fifth column and so it will continue so we are going to prepare a matrix of order m by n that is m rows and n columns so this side will be columns so this is going to be always first row nth column Similarly, second row, first column, second row, second column, second row, third column, and then if we just continue, this will be second row, nth column. Likewise, if we continue, 
and then at the end we will have emmet row first column emmet row second column emmet row third column and then if we continue ultimately we will have emmet row nth column so this is how we will be naming a matrix in general so with that <coughs> if we try to solve maybe a small simple question on construction of a matrix so the question can be like construct a matrix of 3 by 2 construct sorry the question should be just reverse construct a 3 by 2 matrix whose elements are given by a i j is equal to i plus 2 j so now 3 by 2 let's try to sort out how this matrix would look like first so like 3 by 2 is going to look like like a three rows and two columns so three rows a first row first column first row second column first row third column so we should have like three rows one two and three so second row first column second row second column second row third column third row first column third row second column third row third column but of course yes there's slight we should have sorry we should have only like two columns here so let me start with the columns so in that case our matrix will be of this form so this is like row one row two row three that makes up three columns uh, uh, three rows and two columns one two two columns column one column two so this is how our matrix should look like so let's start our general element is given i plus 2j so let's try to find out all the elements one after the other one by one so let's begin with the first row first element a11 will define will be defined by this one plus two one so one plus two that's going to be three a one two that's one plus two into two this is i this is j so like one plus two to the four that's going to be five next we will find a two one so that's two into two one so two plus two that's going to be four a two 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 plus two into two that is two plus four that is going to be six continuing for a three one a three one three plus two into one that is three plus two five a three two that is three plus two into two that is three plus two to the four that is going to be seven so ultimately we can have our required matrix that is put in the respective elements a one one three a one two five a two one four a two two six a three one five a three two seven so this is this will be our required matrix of order three by two whose general element is given by i plus 2j so this is how we start off with a matrix so it's not a very difficult concept it's a very simple concept it's just that we have to be very orderly and we have to do it patiently and the order of arrangement should not be tampered here and there so this will be the introduction of matrices so if you have liked this video i would request you from the team of teach nagaland i would request each and every you to reach more subscribers and comment on the section below so that we can reach to you with more problems thank you